Breedham had a great night at the ballot box this week. Hello, I'm Jennifer Zarn with this week's News Minute from the NRA Institute for Legislative Action. On Tuesday, NRA endorsed candidates scored decisive victories in elections across the country. Thanks to you, in Virginia's most hotly contested races, voters sent a loud and clear message that their gun rights are not for sale. Despite the attacks of Governor Terry McAuliffe and over $3 million spent by Michael Bloomberg and out-of-state gun control groups, 92% of NRA-endorsed candidates won their elections, blocking Bloomberg's and McAuliffe's attempt to build an anti-gun majority in the Virginia Senate. The rebuke of Bloomberg's anti-gun campaign in a swing state like Virginia does not bode well for Hillary Clinton and other politicians who are running full-throttle campaigns on anti-Second Amendment platforms. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, pro-Second Amendment supporters and NRA members went to the polls to elect an NRA-endorsed governor and commissioner of agriculture. In Mississippi, over 97 percent of NRA-endorsed candidates and every statewide candidate endorsed by the NRA claimed victories. And in Texas, an overwhelming majority of voters approved NRA-backed Proposition 6, which establishes a constitutional right to hunt and fish, thus ensuring Texans' outdoor heritage will be preserved for generations to come, and that wildlife conservation and management decisions will be based on sound science. Texas is the 19th state to pass a constitutional amendment protecting the right to hunt and fish. We would like to thank NRA members and supporters who made the difference in races across the country on election night. And in this week's Armed Citizen Report, authorities in Winston-Salem, North Carolina say they won't file charges against an employee of a jewelry store who shot and killed an armed robbery suspect. Two other suspects fled the scene and haven't been identified or arrested. Police said three masked suspects were armed with guns. One suspect smashed display cases and began to remove jewelry, police said. As the incident was taking place, an armed employee confronted one of the suspects and fired two shots. The wounded suspect tried to flee but collapsed just outside the business, police said. I'm Jennifer Zarn, and I'll see you again next week with a News Minute from the NRA Institute for Legislative Action.